Greetings of the day, my dear lovely Goinkins. In today's GK class, we are going to learn about five tallest marvels of the world, which is chapter number seventeen of your GK book on book page number twenty-one. Dear students, we are the theme for today's topic is travel. First of all, I would like to tell you these five tallest uh, marvels, as you can see from the pictures as well. You can make it out. We are going to talk about the tall buildings. So we call such tall tall buildings skyscrapers. So a skyscraper is a very tall building with many stories or floors. Earlier, skyscrapers had ten to twenty stories, but Today, some skyscrapers have hundred stories or more. We are going to learn about five such skyscrapers found across the world, and let's learn more about them. We all have heard about numerous significant buildings around the world, which humans have created. So, some of the highest and the tallest buildings in the world are given below. Let's learn about them and find out where they are located. We also have a help box at the end of the page here. As you can see, we have the names of the places given over here: Kuala Lumpur, Chicago, Dubai, China, and Taiwan. So let's learn about these uh, buildings, skyscrapers, which are famous in the world. Let's start with Burj Khalifa. So you all must have heard about Burj Khalifa. Must have seen it. Uh, by being in dubai some day or you must see it inshallah in future or you must have seen it even on the screen on your television screens i mean so it is a building which is situated in dubai so this 828 meter high super tall skyscraper it's the tallest structure ever built by any human being this structure also sets a world record with maximum number of floors it has 163 habitable floors which means the uh, these floors uh, we can live on these floors so 46 maintenance levels and two parking levels in the basement the triple loped footprint of the building has been designed to look like a desert flower called hymenocallus So dear students I would like to give you some more information about it the construction of Burj Khalifa started in 2004 and it was completed in 2009 and the cost at which it was built is 1.5 billion US dollars and it stands at a height of 2717 feet location is Dubai I am again repeating country is United Arab Emirates and it's named after sheikh khalifa all right so moving on to the next one we have the taipei 101 what is taipei 101 it is again a skyscraper formerly known as taipei financial center office building in taipei taiwan republic of china it was designed by cy lee and partners a local architectural firm and this skyscraper has 101 stories and reaches a height of around 1667 feet which is around 508 meters as is given here it is named as one of the seven wonders of uh, engineering dear students right and it is located in zinyi taipei tai taipei taiwan so this building was officially classified as world's tallest from its opening in 2004 until the 2009 with the completion of the burj khalifa in dubai uae which just now before this i told you about So the construction of this building was started in 1999 and it was completed in 2003 at a cost of 1.895 billion U uh, billion US dollars. So moving on to the next building, next skyscraper as you can see in the pictures too these look so magnificent. Willis Tower. It was earlier called Sears Tower. 
towers at 442 meter it is one of the tallest building in the united states of uh, america and it has 108 stories it stands at an elevation of 1450 which is around 442.1 meter so it is located in chicago united states of america the tower is 108 stories again i may repeat so uh, at the completion at its completion in 1974 it actually surpassed the another skyscraper which was known as the world trade center in new york city uh, to become the tallest building in the world right so it stood by its title for nearly 25 years so it was also the tallest building in the western hemisphere for 41 years so its construction uh, I would like to tell you, uh, started in 1970 and it was completed in 1974. And other things that I told you about it are already given there. Uh, one more information that is there for this is 104 uh, elevators. It has lifts and elevators, right? And with 16 double-decker elevators as well. So this is about... Uh, Willis Tower, USA. The observation deck from where you can observe Chicago and all of this building is on the 103rd floor. And from this point, Chicago looks really great. Now, so this was about uh, Willis Tower. Now, now moving on uh, to the next uh, skyscraper. It is Shanghai World Financial Center, which is um, a super tall skyscraper located in the Pudong district of Shanghai. It was designed by Cohn Pedersen Fox and developed by the Mori Building Company. And this is again a state of the art engineering. And I would like to tell you it had a hotel named Park Hayat Shanghai, which was um, some years back. It was the... Um, highest hotel in the world and it is now the third highest hotel in the world after the ritz carlton hong kong which occupies floors 102 to 118 of the international commerce center so here i would like to tell you the most interesting feature of this 492 meter tall building is the structure at its top as you can see in the picture as well next to it it is shaped almost like a giant bottle opener it was my dear students the construction started in 1997 and it was completed in 2008 and was opened on 28th august 2008 and it was completed at a cost of 1.20 billion us dollars it is an elevation i would again like to tell you of 1614.2 feet and floor count is 101 so let's move on to uh, uh, the next one that is the Patronus Twin Towers. Situated in, it is situated in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. These world famous Twin Towers are, these are Twin Towers, two towers um, together, standing parallelly together. So these world famous Twin Towers are the tallest twin buildings in the world. They are 451.9 meter in height and have the deepest foundations between them they have the world's highest two-storied sky bridge that connects the two towers on the 41st and the 42nd floors as you can see in the picture as well you can google about these pictures as well so dear students these towers patronist towers are also called as patronist twin uh, towers Again, I would like to tell you they are in Kuala Lumpur, uh, Malaysia. And according to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitats, official definition and ranking, they were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004 when they were surpassed by Taipei 101. But the Petronis Towers remain the tallest twin towers in the world. So I would like to tell you here... Uh, they were the construction was started in 1993 and it was completed in 1996 it was opened in 1999 means inaugurated and it was built at a cost of 1.6 uh, billion us 
dollars and the floor count is 88 with five being under ground so my dear students this was all from me i hope you enjoyed uh, getting this information we'll see you soon inshallah thank you very much take care goodbye